friends, my name is Alexis. Welcome to the USA Test Prep Classroom. Today we are going to learn about skip counting. Skip counting is when we count objects, but we don't say every number. We count in groups and only say the number of objects in the group. We can skip count by fives, tens, and hundreds. When I skip count by fives, I am counting groups of five. There are five apples in my group. Let's count all of the apples by fives. Ready? Count. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. It is much faster to count 100 apples when counting by fives. I notice a pattern when I am counting by fives. Do you see a pattern? Yes, that's correct. All numbers end in five or zero. Come on, let's go outside to the backyard for a barbecue. Today is a beautiful day for a barbecue. Let's put some hot dogs on the grill. Do you like to eat hot dogs? Great, help me count how many hot dogs I have to cook for the barbecue. Each package has 10 hot dogs, so we will count by tens. Ready, count. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. We have 100 hot dogs to cook for the barbecue. It was much easier to count the hot dogs by tens than by ones or fives. Did you see a pattern when counting by tens? Yes, skip counting by tens is a pattern that's like counting by ones. We say the same numbers, but add a zero. Let's go to the city to practice some more skip counting. Look at all of the tall buildings in the city. Have you ever been to a big city? Great, some of these buildings have 100 offices inside. Let's count all of the buildings that have 100 offices inside. Ready, count. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000. That is a lot of offices. Skip counting by 100s is a pattern like counting by ones. We say the same numbers, but with 100 added to the number. Let's head back to the classroom to finish talking about skip counting. I had so much fun learning about skip counting with you today. We learned that skip counting by fives, tens, and hundreds is much faster than counting a lot of objects by ones. Thanks for your help. See you next time.